Hello, it's Crowboy69. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, in this video, we're gonna be transforming this Craftsman toolbox. Ah! So this thing actually isn't in terrible shape. It's got a couple of scratches and the paint's a little worn on the top, especially. It's pretty dirty too. All the hardware still works and all the drawers are still nice. I am gonna sand it all down and repaint it. I'm not totally sure what color I'm gonna repaint it yet. Okay, first things first, we gotta take everything out. Now that I've used an efficient method of removing all the tools at once, I'm gonna take all these mats out from each drawer. These might be savable. I'm not totally sure though, because they look like Alan's Prius floor mats after Dirty Mike and the boys had a visit, but we'll see. If you guys know the movie, The Other Guys, that was a funny fucking joke. That's what I call comedy. You're welcome. I named this thing Charlie Sheen because all it does is blow. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to get all these drawers out. Hey guys, Chris Fix here, and today I Okay, I figured it out. So there's a little, this little triangle black piece right here, and it has to go down, and then you can pull it right out, and you gotta do that to both sides. The right side you actually have to push up, the left side you actually have to push down, and it comes out. There you go. Okay, I got all four drawers out. Honestly, I'll probably just have to clean these. I don't even think I'll have to repaint them. The inside of this looks like Betty White's meat wallet. It's got cobwebs and fucking tumbleweeds. Before I start sanding, I wanna clean every piece of this, including each drawer. Okay, I've got it all pretty clean, so now it's time for a gentle sanding. <laughs> That's some serious 50 shades of grain right there. Dude, I've been getting after this and it's taking forever to get this off. I may only sand the outside in like spots like this that have little rust on them. Cause for one, that's super time consuming. And for two, I'm lazy as fuck. Okay, I'm done sanding. As you can see, I didn't go down to the metal everywhere, but I did pretty much scuff up everywhere I saw paint. And I did hit like a couple of spots that were a little rusty pretty hard. You can see I did that here and here as well. So now I've got to blow this thing off. Make sure there's no dust or anything on it. Okay, for painting this thing, I asked on my Snapchat story what color I should do. And I got a bunch of people who said red and black. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense since Craftsman stuff is red and black. And I've already got those two colors in spray paint, so I don't have to go buy more. Make sure you guys add me on Snapchat at I'm Crowboy69. I ask a bunch of questions on there and do a bunch of stuff with videos. So if you want to be involved with that, be sure to add me. Anyways, I'm basically going to have this whole thing painted black but I'm gonna leave little red accents here and there. So like this panel will be red. I'm gonna leave the inside red. I don't really know. I'm just gonna be winging it here. Okay, I got this thing taped up like your mom after happy hour mimosas. The way I taped it up was actually really stupid and took forever, but sometimes it's easier to pass through Stupidville rather than turn around. So here we are. Got the tracks covered up with some magazine pages so they don't get paint on them and get sticky. And this thing's ready to be painted black. Just doing light coats so it doesn't drip and run and look like shit. Okay, I'm done with all the coats of black. It looks pretty good. So now it's time to make like a banana and peel. Okay, you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. I might honestly paint this red. Oh, I forgot to peel this whole fucking side. Also, this being red kind of sucks, but I don't really know what to do about that. What I really should have done is drilled out the rivets and then re-riveted it, but that's a lot of fucking work. Okay, you know what? This is actually really bothering me, so I think we're gonna do it the right way and uh, take all the latches off, take the handle off, and then learn how to re-rivet after that. I don't know if that's how you do that. No way this is the right way to do this, but... Handles off. Okay, after a bit of a learning curve, we've got all the hardware out and I guess I'll figure out how to put it back in later. Really wish I would have just done that in the first place. It would have saved me so much time taping. That is what I call making a U-turn in Stupidville. Okay, after taking out all the hardware, I put a couple more coats of black on and I am gonna go ahead and paint this red. Now I'm gonna untape it, 
and then tape up all the black spots so I can hit this fucking thing with some red paint. Okay, I got it all taped up with some plastic bags so that I can paint the red parts. Okay, let it dry overnight. Now I need to paint the inside, which I'm gonna do red. So let's get to it. Okay, so I've decided these inner lining mats are beyond saveable. So I went ahead and picked up this easy liner from Walmart for like 10 bucks. So I've just got to cut out each size mat with the liner. Yeah, I got them all cut out. Here's what they look like in the drawers. They all fit nice, they're nice and grippy. And this one obviously goes in the top of the toolbox. But yeah, I actually really like that. And I know white's probably not the best for the toolbox and it's immediately gonna get dirty, but I don't really give a shit. Okay, so I do need to reattach all the hardware and I am gonna be riveting these back on. So that means I need to go get a rivet gun. Okay, here's the rivet gun and the rivets that I got. In total, this costs about 20 bucks, but I'm sure I'll end up using it for future projects. So I'm not too worried about that. I've got the inside all nice and painted red. Now all I have to do is peel everything off put the drawers back in, and then rivet all the hardware back on. I also found the original Craftsman badge from the toolbox. It is broken on the back, which is why it fell off, but I'll just super glue it back on. All right, here's what it looks like all peeled. I think it looks pretty cool. Open it up and it's nice and red. That's what it looks like with the little mat in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna start riveting all the hardware on. I've got my pop rivet gun here and I've got my rivet. Basically what you do is feed the rivet in and then start squishing this thing. So let's give it a shot. No, these aren't big enough. So my rivets are too small. Okay, I got these little washers and they'll slide on the end of the rivet like that. And keep it from pulling through. So let's try this again. The washer on and re-pop rivet it. Now I just need to do that to all the other hardware. That's what it looks like on the inside. Okay, we got the handle back on. I'm really just a master at what I do. You wanna know why? Cause these two pieces are actually supposed to be connected to the top. What a fucking genius I am. If taking these out fucks up the paint, I may just lose my shit. Yeah, that went pretty smooth actually. All right, we got them both off and I didn't mess up the paint. That's the correct spot. All right, all the hardware is back on. One rivet to spare. That was riveting. <laughs> Should probably hit these with some WD-40 or some grease, but for now it's fine. All right, here's the finished product. Actually really like it. I think the white mats look cool. The drawers definitely pull it together. The red pops nicely. Close it and see the black here. Here's what it looks like closed. Get a full 360 for you guys. Honestly, this thing turned out bitching. I like it. Let me know in the comments if you guys think this was a successful transformation and if you like how it turned out in the end. Be sure to like and subscribe if you guys want more videos kind of like this one. I love refurbishing stuff like furniture and doing DIY projects. And thanks for watching.